step back into the television landscape of the 1950s, and y'all find yourself in the heart of the comedic brilliance that was the George Burns and Gracie Allen show. This iconic series, which ran from 1950 to 1958, is a testament to the timeless charm of classic sitcoms. The show, featuring the real-life married couple George Burns and Gracie Allen, became a household favorite, earning praise for its humor and innovative narrative approach. As we delve into the intriguing world of this beloved series, it's worth pondering, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about the George Burns and Gracie Allen show that fascinate you? Unearth the hidden gems that add layers to the show's legacy and celebrate the unique behind-the-scenes stories that often go unnoticed. One can't help but wonder if there's a particular scene or moment from the series that has left an indelible mark on your memory. As television enthusiasts, we often find ourselves reflecting on those pivotal instances that resonate with us. Perhaps it's a witty exchange, a comedic mishap, or a poignant moment that has stood the test of time. Now, as we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the George Burns and Gracie Allen show, we're eager to hear your stories and recollections. What is it about this classic sitcom that has left an enduring impression on you? Your anecdotes contribute to the rich tapestry of shared television experiences, creating a sense of nostalgia and camaraderie among fans. So, without further ado, let's explore the captivating world of the George Burns and Gracie Allen show and reminisce about the moments that have made it a timeless classic. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your insights and join us in celebrating the magic of this iconic television series. Step into the past, relive the laughter, and share your thoughts. The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show, a pioneering television sitcom that premiered in 1950, was a comedic gem that left an indelible mark on the landscape of classic television. The series centered around the real-life husband and wife duo, George Burns and Gracie Allen, who portrayed exaggerated versions of themselves. George, the straight man, and Gracie, the eccentric and scatterbrained wife, formed a comedic dynamic that became the heart of the show. What set the series apart was its innovative approach of breaking the fourth wall, with George often addressing the audience directly and providing a witty commentary on the unfolding events. The show's narrative revolved around Grace's whimsical misunderstandings and bizarre logic, leading to a cascade of comedic situations. The humor was gentle, relying on wordplay, absurdity, and the charming chemistry between the lead actors. This unique blend of wit and warmth endeared the show to audiences, making it a resounding success throughout its eight-season run. The George Burns and Gracie Allen show not only introduced a fresh format for television sitcoms, but also featured iconic supporting characters such as Neighbors Harry and Blanche Morton, played by Hal March and B. Benedict. Their interactions added depth and variety to the show's comedic canvas. The series concluded in 1958, but its impact on popular culture persisted, influencing subsequent sitcoms and cementing the legacy of George Burns and Gracie Allen as trailblazers in the world of television comedy. This timeless show showcased the enduring appeal of clever, character-driven humor, and its influence resonates even in the contemporary television landscape. The George Burns and Gracie Allen show remains a testament to the enduring power of laughter and the brilliance of its iconic duo, leaving an indelible mark on the history of television. B. Benedict's last name on the George Burns and Gracie Allen show had an interesting twist. Initially a typo, her surname was misspelled as Benedict with an extra A. Superstitious, B decided to stick with the error for good luck. In a few episodes, another blunder occurred, misspelling her first name as B. Aside from these peculiarities, the show's live episodes featured a clever illusion. The edge of the Burns swimming pool, occasionally seen, was an 18-inch water tank. Designed for quick stage movement, lighting tricks created the illusion of depth in the shallow tank. On a more personal note, Gracie Allen's meticulous touch extended beyond the screen. Since the show loosely mirrored her real life, she took great care in decorating her television home. These behind-the-scenes quirks added a unique charm to the George Burns and Gracie Allen show, showcasing the blend of superstition, ingenuity, and personal touches that contributed to its success. When the George Burns and Gracie Allen show first hit the airwaves in 1950, it set the stage for a new era of television comedy. 
the series featuring the comedic antics of the real-life couple George Burns and Gracie Allen quickly became a pioneer in the sitcom genre. One notable aspect of the show's early years was its live performances during the first two seasons, happening bi-weekly. Transitioning to a weekly filmed format in the third season, the show adapted numerous scripts from its live days, showcasing its commitment to evolving with the medium. As the series progressed, it solidified its mark in television history. When it concluded in 1958, it held the record as the longest-running situation comedy on television, underlining its enduring popularity and impact. Beyond the on-screen laughs, some early live episodes have found their way into the public domain, offering viewers a glimpse into the show's roots. Notable episodes like the Klebob card game, and Gracie Gives a Wedding are among the treasures accessible to audiences. This unique blend of live performances, scripted evolution, and a record-breaking run cemented the George Burns and Gracie Allen show as a trailblazer in the world of 1950s television comedy, leaving an indelible mark on the medium. The global impact of the George Burns and Gracie Allen Show The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show, a groundbreaking sitcom from the 1950s, not only captivated American audiences but also made a significant mark on the international stage. Following the Amos and Andy Show, it became the second U.S. sitcom exported for broadcast in the U.K. This move underscored the universal appeal of the show's humor and the charisma of its lead duo. As the series unfolded, it quietly faced challenges behind the scenes. Gracie Allen, known for her comedic brilliance, dealt with a private health struggle. Despite not being publicized at the time, she battled a heart condition and endured several mild heart attacks during the show's run. Tragically, on August 27, 1964, at the age of 69, she succumbed to a fatal heart attack. This revelation adds a poignant layer to the laughter that echoed on screen. In its final season, the show took an unexpected turn, leveraging real-life connections of cast members. Harry Von Zell, who portrayed a character endlessly pitching George ideas for Western-themed shows, had a personal link to the Western genre. In real life, Von Zell had written several episodes of Wagon Train. The writers seized this opportunity, weaving Von Zell's real-world experience into the narrative, showcasing a unique fusion of fiction and reality. The George Burns and Gracie Allen show, though known for its humor, thus reveals a more complex and impactful story. From its international reach to the personal struggles faced by its beloved stars, the show transcended the boundaries of traditional sitcoms. As laughter echoed around the world, the series left an indelible mark on the global television landscape. As we bid adieu to the timeless charm of the George Burns and Gracie Allen show, let's not merely close the curtain but embark on a journey back to the golden age of television. Just as George and Gracie effortlessly waltzed through the sitcom landscape of the 1950s, we invite you to dance down memory lane and ponder upon your personal connection with this iconic show. What comedic symphonies played in the background as you watched the delightful antics of George Burns and Gracie Allen? Did their banter ignite a spark of nostalgia, or perhaps their timeless humor became a comforting companion in the midst of life's twists and turns? The George Burns and Gracie Allen show was not just a show, it was a mosaic of moments that reflected the spirit of an era. We encourage you to take a moment, sift through the reels of your memory, and share your favorite fragments. Was it Gracie's witty wordplay, George's charming wit, or the delightful ensemble of characters that etched a lasting imprint on your heart? Your stories, reflections, and musings are the threads that weave the tapestry of appreciation for this classic gem. Let this outro be more than a mere farewell, let it be an invitation to celebrate the enduring magic of the George Burns and Gracie Allen show together. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the corridors of television history. Your presence enriches the narrative of this beloved series, turning it into a shared experience that transcends time. Share your thoughts and let the laughter of George and Gracie echo through the comments section. After all, the beauty of these timeless shows lies not just in the frames, but in the shared memories they evoke.